Previously on Survivor. After being left out of the vote against Tyler, Jackson and Muriel found themselves on the outs, and as the search for the merge idol continued to escalate, Jackson became skeptical of his longtime ally Vinny. At the immunity challenge, the contestants were thrown for a spin, and although it seemed as if Jackson had a commanding lead for most of the challenge, it was Vinny who came out on top, despite his obvious reluctance to win the challenge in the first place. After the challenge, Muriel openly campaigned for Will to be the target, and throughout the week, multiple players led her and Jackson to believe that would in fact be the plan. However, unbeknownst to Muriel, Jake and Will had turned the tide against her and had focused their sights on the loud New Yorker as the next to go. It seemed as if Vinny, Allie, and Kelsey were initially all on board for either a Miri or Will vote. However, just hours before the vote, Kelsey made a last-second pitch of a plan out of left field to eliminate Jake, of whom she saw as a major X-factor and threat down the road. Vinny, again in the middle, reassured the overly paranoid Mayra members that the vote was in fact going Miri's way. However, at Tribal Council, it was soon revealed that the three of Vinny, Kelsey, and Allie had strayed away from both plans and settled on Kelsey's idea to eliminate Jake in a 3-2-2 vote, leaving Will Wall as the final original Mayra remaining in the game. At Tribal Council, the contestants were additionally presented with an opportunity to gain an unknown advantage by testing their attention and observance of the game's progression to that point. And with spring break on the brink, and just six players remaining, this advantage has game-changing potential. Tonight, find out who won the advantage, and who will be the next to go. Still here. How? I don't know. To be honest with you, I have no idea what the hell just happened. I thought I was going. Like, oh, I, I thought you were too. So yeah. It's just like, so oh. I, I. And I've kind of uh, come to the conclusion that I have absolutely no control in this game, that I've had absolutely no control for a very long time, and that I probably will never get control again. And as shocked as you are. Yeah. So it's um Okay. But I yeah, know. let's definitely let's talk after we... break. Let's definitely do it. Totally. But here's the thing. I look over at that jury and I saw their reactions to me still being in this game. And I know I'm getting every one of their votes. How the hell I'm gonna get there? Well, that that that's a whole nother issue. Okay. I re like I I really am. What happened I'm like of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. I mean, it's yeah. just laughable. Yeah. All right, so Jake went home. Not who I voted for. Whatever. Jake lied to me a lot in this game, so it's not the worst thing that he went home. Um, maybe if I just keep voting the wrong person out each time, I'll stay each week. We're good. Seriously, thank you guys. Yeah, of course. Dude, that's for it. Oh my gosh, of course. Because uh, of, co of course I was a little nervous. Of, oh my gosh, yeah. The vote went my way tonight. Jake's gone. Fun fact, I've been on the right side of the vote every time. Honestly, May Ra did not hold together well enough to still deserve to be here. Allie has also voted on the right side of the votes every time, so we are really together in this. It's not like I wasn't willing to form connections with other people, it's just that Will had a stronger connection with Vinny anyway, and Jake's a fucking snake, and Max acted like an act, like acted like an asshole, whether it was a show or not. So they were all impossible to work with, and so none of them deserve to be here. Such a clear vote next week, and I hope. Also, I don't really like Miri's whole pitch. Like, guys, we just need to vote out Will. We look like idiots. A little bit annoying. You look like an idiot for always putting Will. Like you just put Will for no reason. Last week there was only one vote for Will. Why? 
I don't think we're idiots for keeping him in this game. Like, you can still, u like, use him, make a relationship with him, have an alliance with him, use his votes. Like, that's what we've been doing. He has no one. And I, I, he has no one. I know. I, so, I know. Yeah. Here's the deal. Another vote. Another vote that goes exactly how we planned. Uh, Tribal was crazy, or really before Tribal was crazy to get that vote to get Jake voted out. So it's big to keep Will. There's going to be some major damage control. Will needs me even more now, so I've lied to him three times now. We'll see if he keeps having to trust me again and again if I keep dragging him along this game. So it's going well. I, I know. I know. We say that every, every time. Like, I, I, but now like, it's at the point. Like, it has to, I said. I said that probably no two else. weeks ago. No that else. everyone tells me every week that it's Will. Dude, the targets know, getting. Do the it. targets getting bigger I don't and bigger. Know how yeah. you do it? Another vote where I didn't know what was happening. Oh my God. Is Miri mad at Ali? Do you think? I think Ali's ex probably explaining something. Yeah, right. Ali, to, like, after the vote is like, we need to talk. No, we need to have, like, a literal talk. Why? Okay, here's the thing. I still really want to work with you and get to the end with you. However, I feel like you maybe did some sketchy things with Tyler, and, like, that's, that's fine. That's what I'm saying. No, that's I fine. told you he was going after you. I know, I know, I know. Um, I just, okay. I go and talk, she's like, you were doing bad things and I was doing bad things. She thinks she controls everything and she's right. We want to but trust been, each other, but you've been twisting things around. No, I haven't. I know you told Tyler not to trust me. Um, yeah, probably. <laughs> I knew I was on the bottom of yeah. seven six. You guys wanted me and Jackson out. Yeah. So it was what smart. else could I do? And honestly, after you did that, I kind of was like, well, she's actually doing shit, so that's not great. I knew something sketchy was going on. I'm happy I'm here, but like, there's no way I can win unless I do something. And Will is still freaking here. And honestly, at this point, I want to keep him around. If you wanted to show me tonight that like you wanted to work with me, why wouldn't you have just voted out Will? I was trying to make the most people happy. I told her a lot of stuff about working with Vinny. That could have been a really bad move, but also there has to be some form of trust established. And I thought establishing trust with her might be a good idea. You know that Kelsey, Vinny, and I are working together. Of course. We sat down and was like, who does everyone want to get out? Vinny said you, Kelsey said Jake, I said Will. Okay. And then we ran through different scenarios. Vinny knew I was closer with you, and we know he was closer with Will. Mm -hmm. to set, so to like satisfy everyone, we did yeah. Jake. Okay. I feel like the major powers in this game right now are Muri, Vinny, and then Kelsey and I. I'm worried about what Vinny's doing, because why would he go to the end with Kelsey and I? That's... I mean, Muri was open about it when we were talking. She's like, but I know I'm on the bottom of you and Kelsey. And I'm like, I know that. Which got me to thinking, why would Vinny be okay going to the end with Kelsey and I? I think you, Kelsey, and I should probably meet again. Yeah. But, like, just say, we're, we're if at, we get to final three, you guys aren't taking me. Jumping to the advantage. I think I have a good chance of winning the advantage. I really stupidly talked about how there's a high chance I won, so everyone I think is going to assume I have it. Vinny was very confident at Tribal. He was confident after Tribal. He told me, Will, I think I got this. I definitely, you know, I'm definitely going to get this advantage. I'll tell you what it is right after. I feel like I was kind of close with the number, but I don't, I guess I want the advantage. I don't know. Sometimes it's bad if you get an advantage in this game. But this advantage, oh my gosh. Like, I was just very... I was the last one to know what it was, and I was just sitting there very anxious. Muriel said that she didn't put down an answer, but I don't know if I believe that. Oh, I just feel dumb, and I couldn't even answer the question. Allie thinks that she messed up, so I don't think Allie got it. At least I understood it. Allie didn't even understand it. Uh, maybe it's a challenge advantage, maybe. Or an idol. I think maybe an extra vote is my initial thing. I don't think it'll be a hitting me idol. I think it's a, either a clue to it, but most likely I think an extra vote. Yeah, so we'll see. 
I just won the advantage and Greg gave me a call. I just met with Greg and I've been handed this confidential envelope and there's an advantage inside. I, everyone has been saying that they don't have the idol and that the idol's not been found. And I kind of believe them now. And I'm gonna go try to find this thing tonight. Since we're going on spring break, the searching for the idol stops at 8 a.m. because people are leave people in the cast are leaving campus tomorrow. Like that was the rules of Survivor Time and Change. So I got really, really eager to go look for what I presume is the idol based on the picture that I received with the advantage. Okay. I've looked at the clue a lot. I've matched up vents with where I think they are. There's this divot here and like it's not there anymore. I'm gonna be so pissed if somebody else has it. Alright, it's 1.30 in the morning. I have until 8 a.m. to go look. And I plan on looking until 8 a.m. at the clue. And it's like, come on, I should be able to find it. Picture telling me where it is. Okay, two in the morning, the rain has stopped. Wish me luck, I'm approaching right now. I am on top of the structure that is in the picture and I'm digging through this mud and dirt at 2 in the morning. I was not leaving the 614 to go home for spring break until I found this thing. Alright, so this is no joke. 304. I came back do an outfit change for dry clothes. I'm gonna go back out. All right, almost 3.30 in the morning. And like, it has to be in here somewhere. I made two stops in Dunkin' Donuts tonight. One medium mocha with cream hot, and one small mocha with cream hot. Almost five in the morning. Got another coffee. Like, you can only look in the same area so many times. I'll probably head back soon. I swear to God, I was going home because the clock that's right there, I kept looking at it, I'm like, it's 5 o'clock in the morning. I got class at 8 a.m. Oh my God, it's 5 in the morning. I can't believe this right now. I lift up this bush. I have the hidden immunity idol. Congratulations, you have found the hidden immunity idol. And the final time you can use the idols when there are five contestants remaining in the game. Like, I was out there looking like a fool for six hours, rolling around in the dirt. But it's gonna pay off because I'm telling you, I don't think anybody is gonna know that I have this thing. This is crazy! It's so crazy! I was. <laughs> I can't believe it. The hard work paid off. I'm so. I'm freezing cold and I have class in two hours, but I just found the hidden immunity idol on season one of Survivor Time and Change. I have a serious shot at winning this thing. Survivor has been a huge part of my life. Like, there's just so many new possibilities now and it just feels so great. Nobody else would do this and stay up all night. I started at 11 o'clock and found it at five. Crazy, but it's my I'm telling you I'm so passionate about it like I remember saying to Vinny on day one that this game is a priority for me this semester like I'm devoting everything I have to towards this game. I've got the idol final six Ah, oh, so happy I always like to say people get one lie with me once they lie to me once, I can pick up on their tell, and they're not going to be able to lie to me a second time. Yeah, so Jake and I kept our votes for Muri because we were thinking, what are we going to do? Because if you guys aren't with us, then what do we have? We have right. nothing. Like, no matter what kind of crazy plan we try, it's not going to work. Uh, we might as well stick to our guns and just keep it with Muri. That's why Adam was able to lie to me, because here's the thing. Adam never lied to me before that. When Adam lied to me, that was the first lie he ever told. Me, personally. So, I bought it. Last night, Vinny told me the first lie he's ever told me. I bought the fact that he was with us. Did you think Vinny would vote me right now? Like, because I feel like your closest person right now is Vinny, right? 
Yeah. I mean, so, that, that's a fair assumption. I He seems to really want to, like, keep you in, like... For as long as he can. I know eventually he's going to have to. Here's the thing, Vinny. You get one lie. And you just wasted it. it like, you next week at 6 would be really easy. Just, like... The yeah. five five will come together and get you out, but like, yeah. it could have been easy for like a few weeks now, and we. Like, and I'm still here. You're so. Still here. So. And, yeah. I don't know. I want to like work with you, and I just wanted to like meet with you just before spring break. Just be like, yeah. We're yeah. good. Cause Seriously, if you're gonna lie to me, make it the time you want to vote me out. Because next time I'm gonna know what's coming. Not saying that I will have any way of stopping it. Next time Vinny lies to me, I'll know it. Oh, sorry, just fell asleep there, kind of like the rest of the castmates have been this whole season. How does no one still understand that I'm running this game? I mean, it's it's getting hilarious at this point. I think at this moment and time, from here on out, I gotta try to play the Sandvoreska game, and I really, I don't know if I could pull it off. Uh, we've got a nice break, but when I come back, that's where the game's gonna be determined. I'm gonna start promising final threes and twos as I haven't before. Which is why when I get back, I'm going to have to look for the idol and I'm going to have to actually start like going hardcore in these challenges. Like I got to Mike Halloway to the end. I got to I got to harness the power of Sandra and Mike Halloway. What up? So ready for spring break. I can't believe we're taking a break for spring break because I think things are about to get crazy. It's spring break and I, I'm going into spring break with like safety already. It's amazing. So even though I am like not going to do any talking about Survivor, like it's inevitable. Like I'm going to think about it because I, I just it, like it's so cool. So it's time for me to get my game face on. So when I'm coming back from break, like enough with the ditzy girl enough with playing dumb enough with like just being like well at least i'll be safe no like i'm winning this game some lies are about to be told and games all be picked up intensely wise and i think people need me too much and i think you're looking at a new winner i guess i'll see you in like a week see you guys after spring break have a great spring break everybody Hey, how's it going? I am back and... It's Sunday, first day back since the break, and I really think I needed a break because I've had a full week to fully dissect the game. Okay, we're back! Yay! <laughs> we're reunited! We're so happy! Okay. If Muriel and I can get through this week of six, and we're at five, as long as I play the idol correctly, we will be in the final four. I've been thinking about it more and more. Jackson is a little naive. I get the feeling that he would never backstab me, but I would backstab him in a heartbeat if it meant me going further. I think the advantage was a clue to the idol. Yeah. I cannot tell Muriel that I won the advantage, and I cannot tell Muriel that I have the idol. One, I need to have moves in this game that are my own, and two, if Things are going. If you think things are going well, don't change it. Like probably or an extra vote, right? I feel like an extra vote is so much for just answering a stupid question. Yeah. This is why I won the advantage. I have constantly updated this log. This was my strategy. I knew it would pay off. I still think it could pay off because there's a lot of information here. So, like, what are you thinking? Okay. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. These people have made it clear that they want to play this game with Will, and if they want Will to be in the end game, I want to make them pay for it. Here's what I'm thinking. <laughs> okay. Like, Allie has to go. The same. Allie's voted out every single person correctly this game so far, I believe. I don't want Will out anymore, but I need to keep up the appearance to Allie that I will stop at nothing until Will goes home. Here's the thing, if she just would have stuck with the four that I proposed to her last week, I would have stuck with her. They knew the longer Will is here, the longer we're well, not gonna well, gun for them, yes. we're gonna gun for I Will. I just said but that. But it's exploding <laughs> in their 
face it's gonna, now, I know. losers, but because we, now we're keeping him. Okay, so what do we do? Because it's all about timing. Up until we should meet with them like the hour before tribal and say like... Allie we, and Kelsey? Yeah, we could say, can we meet be, to make us feel safe? But little do they know yeah, that Allie Allie's has going. To know. Yes. Mm -hmm. She had a chance to work with me and she backstabbed me by voting out Jake. So I'm not gonna work with her. Like, sorry. They think that they have a brilliant strategy leaving me and Muriel in this game. Um, and I wanna make them pay for it. Hello. What's up? Back. break. So, spring break's over and Survivor's already in full swing. So, do you have anyone in mind for this week? Okay, so what I was thinking, so best case scenario would be to get Will out, because then we have Vinny, and we have Miri if we need her. The other options, obviously, are Miri or Jackson. Right. I pulled a little bit of sketchy shit right before our break which was meet with Muriel and tell her everything, which um, I really want to work with Muriel. I want it to kind of be us three at the end, but like that's not gonna work. Getting Muriel out would be the worst because um, then Vinny has Jackson and Will, which is a possibility. Yeah, because why does Vinny want to go to the end? Yeah, us. why does he want third? I don't know why he'd be willing to go with the three of us, but I think he might be, so... Uh, okay, well, here's the thing. I think I want to keep Miri the longest, but also I'm worried, like, if we keep her too long, like, would we lose to her if somehow she made it to the finals? So... Okay, her, like, putting us against Tyler and the fact that it worked, right? like, that's... Like a game winning move. So that's why I would want to get Miri out, but like also I want to keep her because it's more options for us. It'd be nice to get Miri out just because she is doing the most. We're gonna have to meet with Vinny as soon as we decide what to do. That's the thing. I don't know what to do at this point. Um, I feel like he might want Miri out first, which would put Kelsey and I at the bottom. So I'd rather get Will out, but we've been in the majority of every vote. There's only three people who can say that, and it's you, me, and Vinny. Um, spring break just wrapped up, and it was a good week. Got to chill in Cali for a while, and so yeah, we're back, and we're trying to reconvene it where everyone's at. Right. Uh, so we're, we're back. back. Have a long time until anything's gonna happen. We still have like know. six days, because the travel's what, Saturday? Saturday. Since the merge, and I believe for good reason, I've played scared and I have had the strategy of shut up and stay. And I really want to become the player that I was in the beginning of this game again, where I played more fearlessly. That was when I had the most fun in this game. Big priorities this week are figuring out who the heck has the advantage, what the advantage is. Me in a vibe that I won't know until it's played, that whoever has it's holding pretty close to the chest. I think Kelsey might have gotten it. You think so? She's, she's smart. That... And she my guess was too high. Insane. My guess was too high. Was it? I was, I was like 250 or something, 230, mm -hmm. and I think it was like right around 200. Yeah. This week I feel like bearing a will immunity, that's the play, right? Okay. I, I think that's the play. Okay. I need to remember that these, I think that these people think that I'm not as with it and that I'm not really doing anything. Um, I think Vinny especially thinks that, where he thinks that he can control me. But, I, I mean, tried. at this point, I'm silly to, like, think that Will's going home. Yeah. How the tribe dynamic is, we have three twos, and my two is with Will, who, if he doesn't win immunity, has a very high chance of going home as of today. That's a plan right now, so I need to really get Jackson and Mary to believe me that I'm with them. And I think it's at a point where I don't need Will anymore. So this could be the week he goes, but again, if he stays at five, it's still a huge target. So like Will gets voted out, which needs to happen. Mm -hmm. Then it's all of a sudden like either I go with Ali and Kelsey or with you and me, which like I'm fine with because yeah. I think that'd be good. Like that means I get final four, but I'm like, 
Levin's at three. So my thing, the whole break, I'm like, who could I go to the end with that would like hopefully at least also take me? Yeah. The whole reason I voted to vote Jake out and want to keep Will and keep Will and keep Jackson, vote out Tyler. I wanted that hatred that Jackson and Will have where they can only work with me. I've said to these people the whole time that I'm loyal to them until six. We're at six. This is, these people are the savage six, the true savage six. And, um, cause they're the six that made it to the six. Like my whole goal was, I hope I get to a point where people need me too much or when they, re it's either A, they realize that I'm patrolling the game too late or B, by the time they realize that they need me too much. And I think we're in that B situation where even if they realize it, they know they need me too much. So with you, I, I don't know if Muriel is beatable. I don't think she is. Like I have known for a while that Muriel's game is better than mine. Yeah, and at least it's perceived that way. Yeah, I want to. I want to solidify. I, I haven't made a final two to anyone except Will in a very loose like. Mm -hmm. I would take you to the end. Yeah, I haven't said let's do this. So this is the first time I'm making this. I would go to the final two with you. And I would go to the final two with you too. Well, we've been together since the start. He told me everything that I want to hear and that Will's going to go this week, which is everything he's told me before and lied about. But this time he added in that we're also going to final two together. I think you are my best chance mm -hmm. to win. I think I'm your best chance to win. Yeah, but. I agree. Five weeks ago, Jackson would have been like, yay, like I'm so excited, Kalabu, yay, Savage Six, yay, I'm so excited to go to the final two with Vinny, blah, 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 blah. I really don't believe what he's telling me. He did Tyler wrong. I'm just the same as Tyler in the sense of how close I thought we were working together, so I really want Allie to go still. I, I feel pretty dang good right now, and hopefully you're not seeing this because then it might be my boot episode. So, I find out that Jackson's meeting with Vinny, and then an hour later, Vinny's meeting with me. So going into that conversation with Miri, I was thinking, you know what, it'll be fine. What is Will he want out this week? Um, or, I know you what? don't. No, I do. You said that to yeah. me last. Okay. <laughs> right after that, didn't go that way. Miri called me out and I was, it was scary. Miri has a backbone and she doesn't let you talk BS to her at all. So, but if I have a will out this, if we all have a will out this week, that's an easy vote. And then on paper, I should be in the middle of you, Jackson, and Kelsey Allen. So selfishly, yeah. that's why I want will out this week. He said will, and I was taken aback because I wasn't expecting him to say it. But then when he explained to me why he wanted Will out, it makes perfect sense. Not for my game at all. But for his game, yeah. It would pain me to just sit there and nod my head and smile at Vinny like, of course, yeah, let's get Will out. Because that's not what I want and I need to advocate for myself. So I did and I told him about the plan with Allie and Kelsey. I know, I'm, like honestly, I'm being honest. Yeah. If you get to five with Allie, Kelsey, me, and Jackson, and you, you're out. Why do you think I'm out? Because Allie, Kelsey, Jackson, and I have talked about it. You've talked about it before? Yes. But who do you be out of five? No? Yeah, it's the first time in this game I feel like there's been a real plan to potentially get me out if Miri's telling the truth. If Miri's not telling me the truth, Man, big brother, cast her, because she is unbelievable at those lies. She came up with like three or four little things. Because I think you want me out. Miri, no, not at all. But Vinny, listen, you have an alliance with Alan and Jackson, okay? Okay. You also have an alliance with Will. Okay. You also have an alliance with Jackson, and then there's me. Miri, and we I, don't have an alliance. Miri, I, that's right. And I think I was the first one to call him out for a shit. <laughs> when I told him, you have an alliance with Ali and Kelsey, you have an alliance with Will, you have an alliance with Jackson, where's me? It was just an eye-opening conversation and my whole shift of, like my whole mindset was just, what can I tell her, what should I tell her? Is she just gonna go play me? So that was the first time someone called me out and I hated it. I don't, I don't like being called out like that, so. It was a fun back and forth between, I think, two good players, and I don't want that to happen again. I could make his game fall at any point I want, 
and he could make my game fall at any point he wants. We literally have each other's games in the palms of our hands. And I think we both realize that the sooner we get each other out, it's going to be a problem. But well, you, you want me out? Well, no. Okay. So I, I don't, don't, but I I don't, don't want Will out either. You want Ali or Chelsea? Yes. Okay. Wow. So I told him I want Ali out. What I'm starting to realize is everyone came into this week with a plan and all of our plans are different. And then like I basically just revealed my whole game to Vinny, which is dumb. I can't shut my mouth. And I guess we kind of established that we're both smart and we think we can like outwit each other, but like I know I can't out smart Vinny. We can be gone at 6 and 5 and all of a sudden try to turn people to get one more out, or we can take a deep breath and try to do this. If one of you, me, or Will won, it'd be a great season, and that's what people want. Like, yeah, oh, if Kelsey or if Kel Callie or Jackson win, I'm going to be pissed. Yeah, I'd be bummed. Yeah. Like, I didn't work all this time to have a crappy winner out playing. Me too. I'm still not going to take her super far. She thinks that... I might take her far. I'm not going to. I'm hoping to get her out at four still, but I'll go to that. It'd be a hell of a final. Team. And I like. I like what just happened? Don't just tell anyone. Like I have not made a final two with anyone except Jackson. But I mean, yeah. we never really said it. It was just kind of like stupid. Yeah. But I'll believe you to the end. Really? I promise you. I promise you. She's pretty dang observant and pretty dang scary at this game. So. I'm glad I'm hopefully hopefully getting her on my side, but the thing that sucks is I have to trust her for a whole vote now. Yes, I made a final two with Vinny. Do I want to? Do I actually want to take him to the final two? Absolutely not. I don't know what I want, but Vinny is the most deserving winner. What I'm starting to realize more and more is that this is Vinny's game. It's his story, and we're all just players in it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then I had a conversation with Kelsey, which was, I felt like a fisherman trying to like throw bait. What are you thinking long, long term? I know it's a lot. Uh, I don't I know, know, cause I've been like trying to figure it out and yeah. like, I just- Cause like, we haven't really talked, we haven't really talked about it because we kind of like, eh, we'll get there and- Right, and that, but now we actually yeah. need to think about it. I don't know, do you, are you thinking something? Would Miri, Jackson, and Alley at five coming is my question. I don't think so. She hasn't said anything. But really, Kelsey was my fish there where I'm like, Kelsey, I'm really nervous about Alley. I'm nervous as a plan at me getting out at five. Give me, like, I was just trying to sell her things that Muri told me. A, to confirm if Muri if was telling the truth or not, and B, just to get more freaking truth with Kelsey and try to rebuild that relationship but I want to work with you Allie I'm just like what everything that Allie is saying to me non-verbally is saying ever like otherwise okay but, but that's just me like I don't know and that's uh, why I, I don't was, want you to feel that way because I feel like we're still on the same page of us yeah because but... right when her and Miri ran away with each other I was like do I not know something she didn't take the bait she kept saying she hasn't heard my name and now I'm in a situation, do I believe Muri or not? And I think even if Muri's telling a lie, that's okay because I get Allie out at six and then immediately go to Kelsey and be like, hey, you need Will, it's word out Jackson or Muri. So I still got options, but whenever you hear your name, it's, it's a scary thing. But I think if you had to worry about Allie wanting you out, it would have to be with Muri. It would be with Muri, but then I would have to be on board with that too. Which I rather work with you and yeah, not me. For sure. So I so far talked to Kelsey and Miri. Miri was super on board with working with you. And then Kelsey wants to work with you. This is Allie's the question. I Allie didn't want you to be around so. last week. Every week that I survive, a bigger and bigger target gets on my back. And if I know that somebody is actively gunning against me, like Allie was last week, that Terrifies me. I get that because Ali wouldn't have went for Muri because I, yeah. I think Ali and Muri are closer than yeah. appearances. Um, here's the thing, you know me, I'm willing to work with anybody. I would want Ali out if she's trying to get yeah. me out. Ali 
is playing an amazing game. And I haven't given her a lot of credit, and I don't think a lot of other people have given her a lot of credit. She just set herself up perfectly to win this game. Even though, you know, Kelsey has had, you know, closer relationships with myself and Vinny and some other people, I don't think that's going to matter in the end. But still, she has power. She has way power. more power than anybody else. I, I think Allie's actually the front runner right now. Yeah. I'm hoping Allie goes home. She is gunning for me, and even if she's not, it is still good for my game to get Allie out. So I hope uh, Jackson or Kelsey wins a challenge personally, maybe even Miri. I'd be fine if the Miri win. Do not want Will or Allie to win. I always got to have options and see where everyone truly stands. Eliminated options sucks because if Allie wins, all of a sudden we vote Will, and that's I can't tell where people truly stand. I need Miri and Jackson to make a stand and vote Allie out for me. And here's what I want to say to you. And like, because let's say this goes ideal and it's final three, you, me, Kelsey. I cannot tell you enough I'm taking you. I can tell you absolutely I'm going to take you because I feel like. It's a little bit of a JT and Steven mm -hmm. scenario where Aaron would have won that game if JT took Aaron. Because the entire jury would have Aaron is Kelsey. Aaron is Kelsey. Here's the thing, and I don't know if it's just... I, I feel like I have a lot of jury votes, yeah. but at the same time, if there's one person that can beat me, I think it's... It, and that's why because I think it would be close. Yeah, I, I think it would be very yeah. close. I obviously thought that I'd have a chance. I, I think I have a chance. Mm -hmm. I think you also have a chance. I'm not an idiot for that. I know this is a risk, but I'd rather get to the final two and lose to somebody who played a better game than me yeah. than get to final three because I lost a challenge. This is, it's a hectic, hectic week, and it's getting down to the nitty gritty of who can I really trust. I think I can trust Will, but the problem is, other than Kelsey, does anyone really trust me? I wouldn't. Would you? No way. Alright, so we're finally meeting. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a long time. <laughs> yeah. But um, I always just assumed, and I think you kind of assumed the same thing, that we were kind of on opposite sides. And totally it's just, it... My conversation with Jackson was probably one of the best conversations I've had in this entire game. He basically said, Look, Will, I've wanted you, I wanted you gone this entire time. You've wanted me gone for quite a while. At this point, we need each other. Before the season even started, because I had a feeling you would be playing, yeah. I was like, if he's there, I have to get him out. Here's what, here's why I think we're both here. Yeah. Because they know that you will always target me exactly. and Mary. And and this is basically Vinny. Vinny knowing that I will always want to target yeah. you. When I was talking with Jackson, he really was building it up to make it sound like he wanted Vinny gone. And I was starting to get a little bit, like, freaked out by that. I'm not saying bad things about Vinny right okay. now, yeah. but I uh, I really think that you've been Joe, I've been Steven Fishbach, and Vinny's been Jeremy. And it could very easily end up yeah. with the same result. But at the last minute, he kind of turns it around. He's like, I don't want Vinny out of here. I think you, me, Vinny, and Muri can work together in this game. If for some reason you want to work together, I'm down. I'm absolutely down. Yeah. Absolutely. I think it'd be really, it'd be a total blindside thing to that really the game. Jackson's a very big physical threat, and I have to be worried about him down the line. But, the fact that Jackson's willing to work with me this week, toppled with the fact that Allie wanted me gone the week before, it, it's big information. This is the week that Jackson and I come together, we work together on this, and we vote out one of the two bigger threats in this game. Kelsey or Allie? Okay, so the after the challenge, it's a really quick turnaround, so that's why I'm meeting with people now. Alright, so I just met with Will, and now I'm meeting with Minnie. If I go this week, there's no connection to Muriel. Muriel goes to the girls, and the three girls vote out the rest of the guys. Boom, boom, boom. And that's valid for both Vinny and Will. So they should not be wanting to lose me this week. For me, if I go, I think you guys are most screwed. Oh, yeah. No, could not even want. Because then the connection to Miri is gone. I just oh, realized yeah. this last night. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the connection to Miri is gone. And she's with the three girls. And Miri will yeah. totally go with oh, the three girls. I don't think you should be worrying at all this week. Okay. The only thing... So let's say we do go Will this week. Okay. 
You know, I was wondering, like, is there any way the four of the four clobber outside of me would vote me? Do you think? There's a chance. You think? And that's why I kind of want to do Allie? someone other than Will. Will. Okay. I still want Allie to go this week. I think she's voted out everyone in this game correctly. If Will does go this week, which is what everyone's telling me that they want to happen, if Will does go, it's not the worst thing in the world because if the idol is real and I play it correctly next week, all should be okay. I don't know. I think we can decide tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. But tomorrow's gonna be crazy. I'm fine with either one, honestly. Basically, final six right now. Five Kalabu and one original Marat. You'd think that would be easy, just get out, Will. But, you know, who knows? Yeah, we're back. Kind of safe today. Go Bucks! Go Bucks! Where do you go to college? So how are you feeling about this week? What's, what do we think? I think something's gonna happen. But I want to have like somewhat of a plan, just in case just... we have to, what if like we have to vote out someone like after the challenge? Like just do it. I might still want Will around another week. I think he's a good vote. I think he really does trust Benny, and I think I've also gained his trust. Um, Allie, on the other hand, probably not. So, like, kind of have Benny and I kind of have to make up for Allie, I think. So, that's some extra work. If we have to vote after the challenge, who do we want to vote? Just in case. Will is just there. He is an easier vote because we can all just vote together. I think we keep Jackson no matter what. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, I don't think the best plan is to get Mary out this week. But I'd love her, for her to be out just because she twists things so, so much. Well. She's, she's, so she's, she's so smart. I think Mary and Jackson as a pair is a big deal. Um, I mean, if we focus on that pair, it kind of distracts Allie and I as a pair a little bit. Um, if it comes down to it, we might have to get Miri out. But that's not best case for me because then Vinny, Will, and Jackson could still come together. Okay, and she has like... Sass. Yeah. Okay. But she also has like like a game-winning move. Like she pitted us against Tyler. Like that was yeah. like mostly her. And like that's a game-winning move. This week's challenge, I don't know, it's supposed to be a long one, so... I'm thinking we're gonna, like, like be on the lamp posts and, like, just have to balance on those for an extended period of time. Going into this challenge, best case scenario is, of course, I win immunity. But as long as Allie doesn't win, I think all will go to plan. Also, Vinny winning could be a problem as well. Come on, guys. Hi everyone. How was everyone's break? It happened. It was fun. I got to hang out in Santa Barbara with some people in and out burger because that's what you have to do. I'll say it, a little overrated. Um, it was a nice break from the game, but you definitely get to process everything that's happened. It's not so go, go, go anymore. And now that we're back, it's definitely going to be go, go, go until the end of this thing. So I'm assuming everyone's kind of ready for the challenge, right? Yeah. Rather than me explaining what we're doing tonight, Muriel, what are we doing tonight? What is the what's that phrase that everyone says about making assumptions, Aaron? You make an ass out of you and me. Mostly you, but it hurts me a little too. Let me elaborate here. I said we would hit the ground running, and to tell you something honestly, I look around at these poles. I'm like, we could definitely do an endurance challenge tonight. I could keep you here for two and a half hours, but. I really, really don't want to do that. So tonight's challenge is not the endurance pull challenge. Tonight's challenge is about something quite different. It's about survival. We'll now bring in the members of your jury. <laughs> Max, Tyler, put it out at the last tribal council. <laughs> Jake, how are you doing, bud? I'm just great. I'm not stressed anymore. So. Miss the game. Miss the game. I'm still paranoid here, but... <laughs> Come on, Jake. 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 Come on,
good. It's gonna be awesome. It'll Guys, tonight is not about endurance. Tonight is about survival because tonight you will be participating in a challenge. But the reason I ask you to reserve most of your night is because immediately following this challenge, yeah, there will be five people remaining in this game. The fourth member of the jury will be voted out tonight in a tribal council ceremony immediately following this challenge. With that being said, you look at what these guys are holding here, right? On this box are the faces of the six exec board members, okay? Today's challenge is simple. It's mental, entirely mental. I will give you a list of the exec board members in a certain order. And it's simple. You give it back to me when I ask. You get it incorrect. You're out of this challenge. No shot at immunity from the tribal council immediately following tonight's challenge. We said we'd hit the ground running, and this is the only way to do it. It's a two and a half hour pull endurance challenge we need, guys. Don't get too comfortable in this game, because the second that you're comfortable, something unexpected will happen, and I promise you that. That being said, I only think it's suitable that your jury hands you your cubes, if you'd like to go over it. jury, Max, Tyler, and Jake put it out at the last travel council. Oh. Hi everyone. Hey, Greg. Hi, Ellie. 
How are you feeling? I'm feeling very good because I don't know what everyone is thinking. Do you guys expect this at all? Tell me. Nods of heads. I can talk about it. Let's turn right to Will, the final Mayra standing. You look over here, you see two of your compadres. We see Max, and we see Jake. You gotta be nervous thinking I ask it every time. How are you feeling tonight? Greg, I haven't felt like comfortable once in this entire game, and Jesus. I mean, why do you have to be a memory challenge? My memory is shit. I'm in trouble. I'm in deep shit right now. I, I really could be going through it. You got a shortened week from what you expected. Does that change your plan, knowing that tonight is when you have to make the vote? I mean, if you didn't talk that much earlier in the week, um, then it could be a big difference, but there's a name out there, so. It's Will. Is the name. That's I mean, what a shocker. I mean, really. Um, I was trying to be so vague. I know you were. It, it's easy. Um, vote me out tonight, it really is. But I think tonight is a perfect opportunity to get rid of one of the bigger threats in this game who are still here. I mean, it's, I'm a tool user. That's basically what I can say. You know, I, I'm, I'm a <laughs> I didn't mean, like that, but I'm a vote. Use my vote. We are 16 days out from finale night. 16 days, and this game is over. How much does the next step play tonight's moment? Because it's such a fragile time. Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> are you thinking about this vote exclusively, or are you still thinking down the road? I'm thinking right now, because people are talking right now, and this game is only about people talking. 20-year-old kids, like, talking shit about each other all week long, <laughs> and then writing a name down. How much discussion about idols has there been, Kelsey? How much discussion of idols has there been in deciding your vote tonight? Um, I think it comes up a lot, just like normal, but um, right now, there's, I haven't heard any discussion of idols going on right here. But um, I think everyone talks about it during the week, and yeah. but I So Vinny, we watched last night's episode of Survivor Game Changer. Okay. We see this same setup, right? Everyone is talking. We didn't expect this tribal council. Some people might be changing their sorry, minds. I, I did not listen to words. So what I'm asking is compare this to last night. It's the only difference is we had no idea this was happening. But it's pretty crazy the word live tribal is live. It's just like Tyler's tribal where it was being decided as we go and we're talking about it. And these are sidecar stations. We're trying to figure out what people told us that's true or not. And yeah. Any of five different outcomes could happen. Five different people could be voted out, and I honestly can see anybody being voted out right now. Because it would be easy to say, let's say we're Will, we all make it through. But at the same time, there are bigger threats in this game, there are bigger relationships in this game. It depends. Are people going to take the easy way out, or are people going to actually make a move? Okay, I have something to say. Go for it. Vinny has a final two with every single person in this game. Do I? No, <laughs> <laughs> yep, he does. And if you think that. Once I go that Vinny's next, you're wrong. Let's get Vinny out today, and then we'll all go after him. Yeah, after last tribal, uh, I obviously lied to Will. I went to talk to him. Miri and Allie went running away after Allie voted for obviously what we thought. Miri told me, hey, the four of us, yeah, they, she said the four of us had a plan to vote me out at five, is what she told me. I asked Kelsey and Allie to vote for me, that's not true. So someone trying to lie to me, I'm trying to do that. But the thing is, I didn't have a final two with anyone except Baxter, Will, and Vinny. I've had a final two with Will, final three with you, you made a final two with Baxter, and a final two with me. <laughs> <laughs> he is running the game, we all know it. This is our chance to get him out. I, Miri, I talked I talk to you yesterday for the second time. Do you time. have a plan to get me out? Absolutely not. That's just a lot. Allie. I've told you only to this game, and that's all I can tell you. And the only thing I can tell you was at the challenge, I asked you, which one of those will or not. I seriously, that did not happen. He's got to be out. Yeah, I'm going to vote for Vinny. Vinny's the one who did the most complaining all the time. Jackson and I knew about Vinny. He told us we had that surprise. Sort of not. I, I hate swimming. That's not. Okay, I whatever. This is exactly what I mean when I say hit the ground running. Tonight's tribal is alive. Someone's going home. And we can't sit here all night trying to figure out who it was because you guys had five days to figure it out. And if your plans were foiled by whatever happened tonight, so be it. The time that you had allotted to find out who you want to 
Yes and no is over, guys. What? I did. I did not consent. <laughs> <laughs> I did it with him. I I don't lie to people and I don't like how everybody saying you're lying. It shouldn't happen. We, if somebody's gonna go home, like there's no reason to lie because then they all just go out to lunch and they're like, oh they all lie to us and this is the reality the whole time. So we need to, to like just talk it out. There's no reason to whisper because the outcome's gonna be the outcome. Put down please. We're going when the timer goes to one minute. We're voting, no exceptions. You all give consent to play this game. That is your consent. Go. We have one minute. Go. Oh, yeah. I, I, you're trying to split all this up together. You split all this up. That's why. Guys, I'm guys, we we all know we've been right. saying to everyone what they want to hear. Uh, it doesn't could be anybody. At least I'm telling you guys that we're all telling each other different things. Okay, well, let's be honest then. You told me you'd be willing to vote Jackson out at three or four, correct? I really don't know. That's a pretty ridiculous lie for me to make up. I'll tell you guys. Okay. Five, what? Four, three, okay. two, <coughs> one. Sit down. Go. I was actually going to vote with you guys tonight. However, I saw last minute Jackson ended up whispering to Yuri and Al. Probably telling them, screw it, let's just vote Will. <laughs> That's crazy, I'm so nervous. Okay, let's go, I guess. All right. Bye, guys. Do, 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 Mir, mir, e, 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 e. You're way too smart, and you started figuring me out. Maybe blew up my game, but I think I got people to turn on. Really bummed that I'm probably going home, because I was starting to like take this seriously, and. Freaking Vinny is still running this game. Sucks. Oh, I feel like it's Mary. I don't know who I'm voting for. I can't decide who's full of more shit. Vinny or Mary. I will go tally the votes. If anybody has it, you need to be idle. You would like to play it. Now would be the time to do so. Alright, once the votes are read, the decision is final. The person voted out will be asked to leave the Tribal Council area immediately. I will read the votes. First vote is Will. Second vote Mary. Third vote is Will. Fourth vote. Mary. It's two votes well. Two votes Mary. Two votes left. Well, one vote left. And the eleventh person voted out of Survivor Time and Change. The fourth member of our jury is Will. Well, I'm gonna ask you to come up. Yes. Yes. Great job, guys. Great job. Well, it's actually five. Got to smoke. Yeah. 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 Eight of the Mayra members. Five kill out we remaining. You guys can head on out. Huh. It's been fun, been a good ride. Um, no complaints. I I feel like that last second, it was easy. You know, it was very easy for them to just say it. I saw Jackson do it. He went up to everybody and was just like whispered last second. Just vote one. Make it easy. It worked. It's good. It was a good plan. Um, I don't know who's going to win this game. I can't tell you who I think is going to win. Because honestly, after talking with Jackson, I think he has a lot more plans to take him forward here. I think the person with the hardest shot at winning would be Kelsey, but I still think she can pull it out. I think she can pull it out. And I think, I, I'm 
pulling for her too. Um, good luck to absolutely everybody. Of course I'm rooting for Vinny to win this thing. Um, things worked out a little bit differently. I think I would have lasted a lot longer, but unfortunately, um, out a little early for me. But yeah. Longer than last time. I honestly feel like Vinny is next time to go. I don't see how Vinny's gonna survive this one. So it's been fun, been a good ride, but